Hello, people. I'm talking into a mic because at Music China, it's way too loud. Um, we are at the uh, PRSSE distributor booth. This is not just the PRS booth because PRS doesn't show up here. The distributor does. And there's also Cork, which is keyboards, which who cares? And what else do we have? We have Martin, which is acoustic guitars, you know, who cares? Well, we, we care a little bit. Kiana is totally going off me. But um, we're gonna pretend there's no Mesa Boogie amps here, because you know, we don't wanna, you know. But um, there's Vox here. We like the guys from Vox. There's a VT15, I'm gonna guess. And the VT40X, if you haven't seen it, Kiana has made a beautiful VT40X video, so check it out. Um, not a lot of information in there, but she's pretty damn cute, so that works. Right, Kiana? Right, but he also made a video. He also made a video, which is like 40 minutes with lots of information, but he's not as cute. It looks like, like I'm a guy on dialysis, it's like... <gasps> Because I'm hooked up, you know? Looks like I have like a medical bag here or something. So, um, here's something PIS is doing for China, but not for us. They're giving China the standards, which is there's SE, okay, well there's private stock, which is we can't afford it. And then there's the normal models, which is we pretty much can't afford it. And then there's uh, the S2 line, clocking in between 1,000 and 2,000, which is we can afford it, and they're kind of nice, US made. And then there's the SE line, which probably most of us can afford, usually clocking in at 800, 900 euros slash dollars. And now they added an even cheaper line, the SE standards, which as far as I can tell, in Germany, um, I've seen them with only uh, mahogany tops, or I've seen them in solid colors. Well, you know what? The Chinese get preferential treatment. Oh, that's difficult to say, preferential treatment, because they're getting the SE standards in beautiful, very thin, but beautiful maple tops. And I also love that the SEs now, or for some time now, I just didn't see it, have slight calf tops. Absolutely gorgeous guitars. Look at these. I'm going to put this down for a sec. What could have otherwise been a beautiful top is slightly tarnished by this weird line in there. I really like that they improved on um, on these models by giving them call tap, which makes them so much more flexible. I don't quite understand the three-position blade switch, because if I have three positions, I really want a toggle. So three-position blade switch for me doesn't make a lot of sense. If I have a blade switch, I want more positions uh, for outer phase or whatever. So, I, you know, right there, toggle here. And that is also, believe it or not, an SE standard. Probably doesn't come standard with an autograph by the man himself. But let's look at the green one. God, that's just awesome. Careful, Kiana, careful. I think this color is just to die for. It's just, wow. No, it really is cool. And you know what? You have to be Chinese if you want to get it. So go be Chinese now, OK? It's very simple. Just be Chinese, and then you can get this guitar. But they have this beautiful lavender one, which really, it's, it's, a, it's a girly purple. It's not a manly purple like Merple is, but let's look at it. It's really cool. So yes, guys, this is an SE standard. It's not an SE for more money. This is actually a standard. And if, you, if it didn't say it right on top of here, I would actually have thought that this is an American model for about probably three grand. Because look at this top. If you don't tell me that this is, you know, an inexpensive guitar, I wouldn't have known. There's a slide calf, not the mega calf, but a slide calf on it. This is a gorgeous guitar, people. I really like it. 
Then there's also uh, ones with a uh, maple neck now. Slight burst on this, very nice. Again, the position the three position switch. But we have a set neck, maple neck on the SE. SE standard. So again, a pretty inexpensive guitar. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, get this. Guys from PRS, try to not make things like this happen because no matter how inexpensive the guitar is, that shouldn't happen, okay, I'm sorry. Also, oh, come on, he right here. Those are not things I want to see on any guitar. Also, this middle piece here, it has a big vibrato block, very nice, big vibrato block, but these glue marks are not nice, this is not nice, and this is not nice. So, that is definitely something I want to see improved if I, if, I, if I need to give this guitar a thumbs up, I don't want to see shit like this. But, other than that, gorgeous guitar. And again, these clock in at probably, probably under 600. I'm not sure, but probably. Come on, the green one, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it has... Wrap around and a toggle. So, here, apparently, oh my, I'm sweating my freaking nuts off here. Well, apparently, these amps are Blackstar because you know what? I can read. Because you see what it says right here? That's the company name. This is one of the Blackstar founders. Hi, I'm, I'm Henning. Hi, nice to meet you. Don't expect anything serious because we don't do serious on my channel. That's good, okay. We drink a lot of coffee, we talk about stuff. Kiana and I watch the Great British Bake Off because that's what we do. Okay. Very and we good. talk about gear. <laughs> gear and cake. Yes, exactly. Gear, gear and cake. That should be a show we do every week now. <laughs> gear and cake. So, um, I haven't done anything with Blackstar so far. Okay. And uh, that is about how much I know. Okay. Actually, a student of mine had a, don't ask me, the 200 watt mega behemoth amp. Yeah, yeah, excellent. So, Blackstar is a British company. I hate doing this. I've, I've never worked with a mic, but here, what can you do? Uh, it's quite noisy, isn't it? Just a little bit. <laughs> so, we're a British company. Uh, the four of us who started it, we're all used to work at Marshall. Um, and in 2004, we left Marshall, started planning. And then in 2007, we launched Blackstar. So our key thing is that we always want to have an innovation and differentiation in all of our products. So one of the key things is our tagline is the sound in your head. So one of our controls, ISF, enables I know, you. I know about that. I mean, ISF. I know a little bit about it. I of course follow the press and I watch videos, but I haven't myself done reviews for them. Let's put it that way. So for us, it's really important that you get your sound. It's not us telling you, you know, you find your own sound. So we have a selection of product, everything from high-end valve gear, like your student, all the way down to little battery-powered products like this. So this is a three-watt guitar amplifier. How cute is that? Come on! You could put this in your handbag, Kiana. That is cute. The really cool thing is you can also plug your phone in there, so you can play music. So about 50 hours of battery life. So you can take it anywhere with you, take it to the hotel, oh, play your guitar. Battery, it's battery powered. It's battery powered, yep. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah. So it just runs on uh, 6 a Cool, cool. Sounds amazing. Of, of course you would have to say that. No, but it's true. <laughs> I mean, I want to walk up to one of these booths and people say, you know what, our stuff doesn't sound good, but it looks fine. <laughs> Um, I get a lot of questions. I've done several small amps. I've done like low water jams, yeah. and under every single video, I get the question: How does it compare to the Blackstar HT? Blah blah blah. To the Black, and I always say, you know what? I can't tell you. If I don't know a piece of gear, I'm not yeah. giving them advice on it because yeah. what do I know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I say, I'd like to tell you, but I can't tell you. Yeah. I've done one video that has like I don't know 150,000 clicks where we compared three little amps. Okay. And. People always, in a lot of comments, then say, how do these three compare to the Black Star? And I say, well, I don't know, okay. you know? And what did I just do? I, I think it was something about inexpensive tube. Ah, it was the new Joyo, the new Joyo uh, band amp. Okay. 
Okay. We, we work for Joyo. Yeah. But um, I've done a demo for it and then people say, yeah, but the HT can do this and this. Yeah. Well, it's a different price range, different wattage. Yeah. It's not a fair comparison, but um, so many people mention those little amps yeah. that I'm really curious. Okay. They also have the ISF. Yeah, yeah. So they're just here behind you. Yeah, that's a totally different beast, obviously. Yeah. So this is a, a one watt, and this is the five watt version. So the five watt has a one by twelve. It's really powerful for a, a five watt. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do a small club gig with it. Two channels. So you've got your clean channel, overdrive channel, and then shared EQ, including the ISF control. And you've got reverb built in. Is it uh, um, a solid state power amp? No, it's all valve. Okay. So it's a valve. Um, you've got a 12 bh 7 power valve and an ECC 83. Okay, that, that is very uncommon. I've actually never heard that. Yeah. The really unique thing about these is, you know, with small tube amps, they sound great for clean and crunch, but if you want a really high gain sound, they don't always work so well. Yep. Um, whereas the 12 bh 7 is, um, we can run that in push-pull. Mm -hmm. mode so it runs the same as a much larger amp so when you get out of these little amps you get in a really amazing high gain sound i think that's what my fans have mentioned that in in a high gain setting these are good absolutely and they've also always went to the to the emulated out which yeah. again for high gain if you haven't emulated out it's always a compromise that i've so far the only amp that has a, an emulated out that I would recommend to people to use, yeah. I gotta be honest, is what Houston Kettner has. Right, right. The, the new uh, uh, Redbox AE yeah. that yeah. they have is actually, I don't wanna say phenomenal, yeah. there are still better direct out solutions, but when it comes to build in an amp, they kinda nailed it. Okay. You should try ours, because you know, when we were developing the first amplifiers, our test of the emulated out was to take that, into a power amp through some studio monitors okay. and mic up a valve amp cabinet through the same studio monitors and then AB the two and you couldn't tell which was which. When I have uh, uh, emulated outs like, okay, I'm going to say it, like the Mesa Mark 525 where we know there's a big controversy uh, about the, the cab clone and it being, you know, shit, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, so I did a full production. When, when I do demos, I do a uh, full produced songs, okay. several guitars yeah. in it, picture in picture. So I've done the same song uh, mic'd up and the same song with the cab clone. And then I did a third video where I'm splicing them and switching back and forth. Yeah. So you have a fully realistic produced track with four guitars yeah. and you're switching back between the. Nice. And there, that's where you can hear the difference. Okay. And um, the cab clone lost big time, whereas the red box got you acceptable yeah. uh, re results. Whereas, of course, the mic'd up version is nicer. I use the torpedoes now, the, okay. the, the, the two notes. I mean, yeah. that's obviously the way to go. Yeah. But it's pr the torpedo is probably three times as much as the amp. Exactly, so, you get a free amp with this amp. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Guillaume, you know, you should just throw in a black star amp with every <laughs> torpedo that you sell. <laughs> Um, but we should definitely get you an out. I'd love you to do that test with our emulated yeah. out. I think yeah. you'd be. I would absolutely amazing. do this. And yeah. the thing is, the way you have to test it for me is in music. Yes. Fully produced because by itself everything sounds kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then um, it's like the the helix. Yeah. I did a full helix test and it's all nice and you're really excited and you're playing it and then you put it in the track, six yeah. guitars layered, they disappear. And I did exactly the same track with a valve amp and a, a nice pedal. And it sounds, everything is there. Yeah. That, that digital stuff just, it goes away. When, yeah. you, when you start layering it, the guitars go away. Right. So uh, I'm, I'm up for it whenever I have time when I come back. Because there's some unique stuff that we do in our valve amps that mean that they really cut through without that really annoying kind of detached high end yes. kind of sound. So they really cut through in a track. In fact, one of the first um, artist pros to use our products was um, Gil Norton. He's produced um, the Pixies, the Food Fighters, and loads of other guys. And he was using our tube pedal, using the emulated out, and then the ISF to revoice the different guitar parts so that they would fit together in a track. So I think you really get a kick out. I know a lot. I know a lot of people that have used the HT Dual. Yeah. I, I I I probably see like a hundred pedal boards a day through Facebook and. I, I see a lot of pedals, and that thing has shown up on a lot of uh, uh, a lot of boards. And actually, for 
what was the guy's name from Australia? Sorry if I don't remember your name. Um, not Shane, no. Uh, I mixed the whole album for a guy who recorded all the tracks with an HD Duo. Wow. So yeah. you have to do some tweaking with the with the I mean in the production, yeah, yeah, yeah. but still it yeah. was very impressive that this was recorded with the pedal. Yeah. Well, you know, the HD Five it originated from the HD Duo putting it in an amp. So that's where yeah. If you put, put ah, okay. Up, that's where it came from. And what, of course, what we have to say, Black Star. What we're talking about here, they're very inexpensive amps. I mean, they're definitely amps in a price range where a beginner can afford it and um, where I think you get a lot of bang for the buck. I mean, we're not, we're not trying to tell you that you can get a boutique level product here, you know? But well, we go all the way up to a boutique product, but we have everything for like $59 to two thousand dollars yeah. hand wired point to point so it's everything do you still have the artisan series we do yeah because those are nice they're like really scaled down let's say ac ish type amps inspired by yeah, yeah. In inspired by we know what we're talking about but um you know without going to a company that's uh, not actually british anymore we love you guys from Vox. Jens, shut up. We know we love those guys. Yeah. We've done a whole bunch of stuff for Vox, yeah, yeah, yeah. and actually the new AC30 head is very nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, very yeah, nice head. <laughs> so um, look forward to some Black Star stuff uh, with Kiana, of course, who now has to hold the camera. I'm so sorry. She's so sorry. So uh, you guys go away now. Bye bye.